What's up guys, this is Ray and today we'll be talking about the 2016 Japanese anime movie A Silent Voice. A Silent Voice is directed by Yamada Naoko and it's an adaptation of a manga originally written by Oima Yoshitoki. And this adaptation features the voice talents of Irino Miyu and Hayami Saori. But before we dive into this review, if you guys are new to Ega Man Re, I upload uh, reviews and discussions of Japanese movies every chance that I get. So if you're new to the channel and you did the content, feel free to support the channel by checking out some of the other videos featured here and of course by subscribing. Now on to the review. The story of A Silent Voice is about these two kids. Uh, there's Shoya and Shoko. You know, we get introduced in the beginning of the story to Shoya uh, when he is in his high school years, but then he kind of flashes back into uh, into his elementary school days and we get to see him as a child. He's kind of a dick. He's always making noise, trying to have fun with his friends. And here comes Shoko. She's a transferee. Uh, she's introducing herself to the class and reveals to everyone that she is deaf. But she tries really hard to, you know, make friends, to communicate, and just overall just be, be as friendly as she can be, despite her handicap. And here's Shoya who thinks that, you know, there's something wrong with her and ends up becoming her bully. And Shoya's bullying is pretty harsh and he's pretty persistent with his bullying. And uh, in the end, things don't work out. Uh, basically, his uh, Shoya's friends turn against him. Shoko transfers. So uh, pretty much after this confrontation, Shoya pretty much is an outcast on his own. It kind of, uh, the tables get turned on him. So now that he's in high school, Shoya is a social reject of sorts. Uh, but then by chance, uh, as he's trying to return uh, some belongings of Shoko, he meets her again. And they kind of start this kind of new friendship, if you will. You know, with Shoya being kind of the way he is right now, especially because of experience and, of course, trauma. Uh, during his elementary school days, he's kind of changed. He's not as... Uh, loud and you know friendly I guess as he was he's kind of like introverted uh, he can't look people in the eye so whenever he's out and about you he doesn't really look up he always keeps his eyes down but then this is pretty much the start of Shoya's journey if you will into just bringing himself back but I don't want to get too much into it because I will definitely tell much more than I would want to say so when it comes to the positives of a silent voice this just basically everything about the story um, from the way you know how relatable the characters are and you know even though some of the examples of bullying are pretty extreme like they're not completely different than real life instances of bullying and that's where a lot of the the earlier parts of, sto parts of the story are a bit harder to watch is because you see this stuff happening to Shoko you feel bad for Shoko you feel anger towards Shoya and it's it's definitely uncomfortable to watch but then as the story goes along you really get to sympathize with Shoya you feel sorry for him as much as you do with Shoko it's an honest and really well done story of redemption and there are numerous moments in the story that will definitely uh, just melt your heart that'll touch you so much that you'll start tearing up another thing that was fantastic about sound voice is the animation quality the animation was done by Kyoto animation and they provided some stunning work uh, in the art and uh, the way everything moves just the way everything looks is beautiful and I definitely love the characters in the story you know you get the two senders the two leads you get Shoko and Shoya and I think they both go through their own respective story arcs and they're they're just absolutely lovable I think you just can't help but you know but connect with these two characters and you know if, if any of you guys have ever been through any kind of emotional traumatic experiences in the past and I think it's it's very easy to uh, to connect with either of these characters with either Shoya or Shoko as you know they try to learn from their past mistakes and you know just be better humans. Well more Shoya than Shoko in that. But you really get to like the characters you really get to like the supporting cast a lot of which uh, are you know they're all high school students but some of these characters uh, are with Shoya from their elementary school days and you see the way uh, his relationships evolve you know through ups and downs with every single one of these characters. It's a, it's really endearing. It's it's a wonderful story to see. So this movie has it all. It has the characters, it has the animation quality, it has a story that hits you really hard when it needs to and has the kind of, uh, the kind of, the kind of journey that the characters go through that 
really is, you know, I think it's just really easy to connect. It's really easy to relate to in every step of the way. And just the topic, it's about bullying and it's about the effects of not only the bullying that has on the person being bullied, but also the bully themselves, the repercussions, and also just the, just the way it affects everyone around them. It's a really heartwarming story that I think anyone should watch. But when it comes to the negatives of the silent voice, I don't think there really is anything. I honestly have to say, I don't even have to think twice about it. I absolutely love this movie from beginning to end. I saw this movie in the theaters and I recently just watched it again on Netflix just to get rem just to remind myself how awesome the story it is. It's definitely a movie that I think anyone should see uh, you know at least once. And this movie came out the same year as Your Name. And I think when Your Name came out, that movie definitely got so much more hype, so much more overshadowed. And, you know, even me, you know, I watched both of those movies in the theaters. And at the time, I honestly liked uh, Your Name a bit better than A Silent Voice. But then watching it again years later, A Silent Voice just holds up. It's one of those stories that I think you can watch at any, any year, at any point in your life, and it'll just get you no matter what. Just don't watch this movie expecting a lighthearted story. This movie does cut deep with its emotional themes. You know, as as uh, I said earlier, the main cent the central theme of the story is bullying, but it even goes into much more than that. You know, you dive into themes regarding social anxiety to even suicide. This movie doesn't hold back, and it's very uh, honest with its characters, with its themes, and. But at the same time, it does have kind of a, a, a hopeful outlook in the whole theme, the way everything just kind of flows, the way the, the story is told. It doesn't leave you in a dark place. And that's something that I greatly appreciate about this movie. But anyways, yes, those are my thoughts on A Silent Voice. What did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all the social media channels. And if you really dig my content, you feel free to hit the notification bell so you can be reminded every time I upload a new video and also check out my patreon page so you can further support this channel and as always everyone thank you so much for watching thank you so much to my patrons over patreon for supporting me and anything and everything that i do and i will catch you all again in the next video take it easy